in the right place. Fast forward to November of 2021. For my first time in this amazing church, I was on this side of the room, actually. Um, uh, I was discussing with the Johnson about a passage that was just brought up. Um, that entire time, a butterfly was circling right above us. Um, even though all the doors had been shut for an hour, right above, right before the group discussions were due to end, the butterfly comes flying down right onto my knee. It stayed just long enough for me to realize it was for me, what it was for. Um, it, but this wasn't the only instance. Later on that day, I was sitting on the lunch. Um, <laughs> later on that day um, was the lunch that was served. Um, I was sitting outside with Catherine watching all the kids play. We were talking about how, um, the service and uh, we, we went on. Sorry. And we were talking about the service, and right above us was a butterfly um, running back and forth on, on the shades. I knew from that moment on that uh, being here and finding Jesus was the, was the right thing for me to do. I put my trust in God to lead me into the light, and I found this church. Uh, when my brother was in the hospital, everyone came to surround me while I uh, prayed and showed me what a community of true believers looked like. I now, I now pray and have a connection with God that I never thought I would have. I now know that I have him in my corner and I have, will always have him by my side. I, I'm, here to show that he, I'm here to show that I fully accept the word of God and that I am quick. And now I'm here, and I quick, quickly want to uh, thank the Johnsons um, that, because I quite literally wouldn't be here because they were my ride. <laughs> um, um, uh, and I w and Catherine and Mr. Johnson, they have been here with me since day one. And Mrs. Johnson, um, they were uh, she quickly followed a week later. Um, they have supported me and helped me got and helped guide me throughout my entire journey. And I appreciate everything that they have done for me. Thank you. Oh yeah, don't yeah, put that up here. <laughs> so. The, the exciting thing about this is, it's funny, I, this is the uh, second time I've gotten to um, baptize a friend of the family and outside of being my own kids, and I am just as emotional right now as I was with Catherine and Keegan. But the, the quick backstory, we, we didn't really get to meet until we were on an FFA trip um, with, with Taylor, Catherine, and Tiffany's over here too. 10 kids from Catherine's um, FFA club in Indianapolis. And um, the awesome thing about it is the first night we were there was, I think it was a Monday night or Tuesday night. doesn't matter. That night, I'm in my hotel room by myself, and I'm just praying. I prayed for every single kid that was there, and I paid, prayed specifically for Taylor. She has such a sweet heart and getting to know her and that God would just do something awesome with her, and he, he saved her. I mean, he brought her into his family, so it's awesome. And fast forward to later that later that uh, two days later, um, Taylor had uh, it's an emotional day. It was it was a hard day for her, and we were at a restaurant in Indianapolis. And I look around. I'm the chaperone, so I'm like, wait, where'd Taylor and Catherine go? I look, and Mrs. Brothers, the teacher, the advisor, she's not there either. So I poke my head outside. We're waiting to sit down, and I see Catherine and Taylor. And Mrs. Brothers, who's also Taylor's aunt, is their Catherine is praying over them, and it just God used that as a as a as a moment to bring her into the fold. And she was it was it's just been awesome to see God move in in this little girl in this young lady right here. And so I'm excited right now to um, get ready to dunk in that tank. But real quick. <laughs> um, Thinking of all the verses that uh, I, I could I could pray over you and speak to you, the one that just sticks out to me is before we went on that on that trip to Indianapolis. It just comes back as the Great Commission in and of itself. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And I'm commissioning you now as we baptize you to do the same thing that you get you get to go do this now with other kids. Okay.
So Taylor, do you profess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you, go ahead. Yes. Do you desire to be obedient and follow him as Lord of your life? Yes. Okay. With that being said, with your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.